I got a little thought I wanted to share with you today, and it concerns this. Have you ever heard someone say, I that song is my song, I love that song, it fits me, that song is our song, etc. Okay, I want to talk to you about a song and a person from the Bible, and how today's song would have fit their life. The person that I want to talk to you about for just a few moments is Moses. Now, we know the story about Moses, so I'm not going to go through it all. But we know how that he was raised under Egyptian uh, upbringing. We know the story of how he was hid in the bulrushes and, and so on. And how Moses was in line to be an Egyptian leader, an Egyptian pharaoh type person. He was in line for riches, in line for wealth, in line, in line for fame. Moses had all of this ahead of him that he could look forward to. He was being brought up in that regard to take over. Think about that now. Now, we also read where Moses then changed. Moses said, no, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go with these people, with my people, with God's people. And of course, then we see how Moses became a great leader in uh, God's eyes as far as his people. Okay, now here's the thing. In Hebrews chapter number 11, it tells us Moses gave up all the riches, and it said he esteemed Christ's riches, God's riches, so much greater than the riches he would have attained in Egypt land. And, and it said Moses, by faith, went on what he knew was going to get him to a better place. Now, you think about that. In Deuteronomy, the Bible tells us, and I'll put the link in the, the description box below. The Bible tells us in Deuteronomy where God told Moses to write a song and teach it to the people. Teach it to their children so they will have it and they can learn about me and they can honor God with that song. Now, I know the song I'm not going to mention was not that song. I'm sure the song Moses wrote was beautiful and the song was meaningful. But... The last song we sung just the other day was, uh, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. And the other day it was like, when I was reading that about Moses' song, I thought, Lord, if there was a song today that could have fit Moses back then, because he said, or it says in that song, he's offered everything that's got a name, all the wealth I'd want and worldly fame. Moses could have stood up and told the children of Israel and their children, Look, I've had all the treasures of Egypt. I've had all the pleasures of Egypt land waiting ahead. But I don't want that. I want to be with the people of God. I want to be on God's side. So he could have truly told them, They've offered me everything that's got a name. They've offered me all the wealth I'd want and all the worldly fame. But still, I want to be here with you serving a true God. Now, as I said, I know, I know that wasn't Moses that wrote that song, but I thought, man, this song would have fit him to a T. Here's the important thing we can get from that. Moses in his day, or us in our day, all the wealth, all the worldly fame we could get will not ever compare to the pleasures and treasures we can have each and every day living a godly life. God will bless us and God will reward us. God will bless us and bless us abundantly. But the important thing is to keep him first. Keep him first in our life and let God bless you each and every day. And he will. They've offered everything that's got a name. But still, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey that I'm living for God right now. Please, like and subscribe to this channel. You'll hear messages, you'll hear little things of hope, and you'll hear songs. That's the song that we did just last week, last Friday, I guess it was, we posted it. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. That was myself and my daughter. We try to do one song a week. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. You'll know each and every time we upload a video. Remember, God loves you, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next video.